and welcome to the Idea Space Podcast, a place for women who want to create the life they've been dreaming of. This is where women come to learn how to get their ideas out of their head and into the world. Whether you've wanted to create a better relationship, job, business, hobby, or a better self, I bet there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it without feeling overwhelmed, alone, or confused. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a high school teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, or confused. If you're tired of your dream living inside your brain and are ready to have what you want, you're in the right place. And I promise you can have it and you can stay sane while doing it. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm Jen Liddy, and I'm here talking this week about a story I want to share with you. I was really trying to figure out how to have more fun. I, if you followed me at all on social media, you know that I really kind of suck at having fun. I'm really good at working. I'm really good at helping get shit done. And that's why people hire me. But in my personal life, it's kind of hard for me to have fun. So I wanted to tell you this story I was sitting on the couch. I was really sick of working. It had been a very long week of slogging through some stuff and I wanted a change of scenery. It was right around the holidays in December. And I suggested that we take the opportunity to go ice skating in downtown Syracuse. Now, the suggestion was met by my husband and my son with absolute lukewarm disinterest. Um, We wound up going out for wings in a terrible restaurant with a lot of TVs where my son could watch like tennis, basketball, and a UFC weigh-in. And all of that seemed to be much more interesting than going ice skating. So when when I was thinking about this, I realized like the next day, I was kind of pissed off at myself. I wasn't pissed off at my husband or my son. Like they were being honest. They just really didn't want to go ice skating. But I was pissed off because I didn't push it. I was comfortable on the couch. Then I was comfortable eating wings. And then I was comfortable coming home, putting on my jammies and snuggling with my son, watching a TV show together. It was like, it was like the same old, same old. And I really started thinking about why the ice skating didn't happen. Now, the old me, before I started doing all this personal development work, I would have been pissed off. I would have been resentful of my husband and resentful of my son. I would have been confused about why don't we ever do anything fun? Why don't I have any hobbies? Why don't we do anything different? But instead, I woke up the next day and thought about what were my thoughts? What was going on in my head? And why did the same thing happen that has always happened? So I wanted to share this with you because maybe you are sick and tired of the same old things, never changing. Maybe my thoughts will help you today. So so here's how it went. That day that I wanted to go ice skating, it was a really warm Syracuse December day. It was like between 48 and 51, which is like practically summer weather here. It's definitely get out and celebrate weather. In Syracuse, like people walk around in shorts and no coats when it's 48 to 51, especially in December. So it occurred to me that it would be the perfect day to do the ice skating thing downtown, like the tree, the Christmas music piped in, the beautiful historic buildings surrounding us. And I had floated it by my husband and it was kind of met with an, um, okay, okay. And then I picked my son up at school and I suggested it to him. And he was like, flat out, no, no, thanks, mom. I'm not good at ice skating. And he's my little perfectionist, the apple, you know, it's apples and trees over here. And so we all came home around five ish and sat in front of the fire. And you can imagine like the tree was lit up. We were snuggling, we were laughing, we were talking. And then like, I just knew that ice skating was not going to happen at that point, at that point. Now I'm not being a martyr here. It didn't happen because I didn't make it happen. And here are the stories that I told myself. Well, I haven't ice skated in a long time. I'll probably suck at it. Uh, The second thought was, Jack is not a good skater. And he's going to be a pain in the ass about this because, well, he's a perfectionist. Again, apples and trees. Uh, Three, my third thought was my husband will go along with anything, but I'm sure he'd rather just go to dinner instead. And then I was like, well, it's so comfy here on the couch. Maybe let's just go get something quick to eat and come home. 
And then I looped back around to why don't we ever do anything fun? And then, of course, my brain goes back to number one. I haven't done this in a long time. I'll suck at it. Like, it's just this really negative, not productive, sucky brain loop. And it keeps me in constant confusion asking myself, why don't we ever do anything new or fun? So I finally figured it out. Doing fun things takes effort. And that makes me uncomfortable. I personally like to hit the easy button, especially when it comes to physical discomfort. Now, I've got clients who like to hit the easy button when it comes to like, you know, intellectual discomfort or uh, mental discomfort or social discomfort. But, you know, I don't really like to do physical things that are uncomfortable. And so I'm, I'm saying that out loud. I'm admitting it to you, but it keeps me stuck from having more fun. And I want to tell you about a couple of other friends in my life who are on the other side of the spectrum. They are constantly on the move and they have adventure after adventure. Like their lives just look so much fun. And I actually know in reality, like their lives are just too much for me. And then for them, my life is just so boring and, and, you know, I never do anything new or exciting. And the good news is we don't have to live each other's lives, but I it, thinking about these three women in my life, I was like, oh my God, they have fun, but every adventure requires effort. So I see them on social media and they, they, they're, you know, they're showing the fun stuff, but what they're not showing is researching and coming up with the idea of the thing and talking the family into it or convincing the family or just making it happen. They don't show the packing up, the getting the crabby kids or spouses on board. They don't show the schlepping, the getting the gear, the packing snacks. Like they're not showing all of that stuff. And I realize, like all I see is the fun. Now, I think this is true also in business. Like you might be comparing yourself to somebody else who's got a book or a podcast or a business or a venture that you're like, why don't I ever do that? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's the same thing as my friends who have to gear up to do this fun adventure. It's a lot of gearing up to make a business successful. You might be saying, oh, look, she's got a podcast and she's got a successful business. All that is true, but I'm willing to put forth the effort that it takes to make all of that stuff happen. You might not see it, but it's there. Just like I don't necessarily see the effort that my friends put in to have fun, but I know that it's there. So I realized that if we want adventure, it's got to be worth it to rally the troops and get them enthused and make it happen. And to my friends, it's worth all that effort because they love adventure. And to me, it's worth all the effort of rallying myself to do all this work to make a business happen because I love that work. But adventure and fun... Well, that just has not been worth it for me. And I wanted to talk about why, because if I want that in my life, if that is my goal, I need to get out of confusion and I need to get clear. And if it's a goal, I need to break the pattern. And so what I've done for you today, and I did for myself too, is I I noticed the pattern. The pattern is I don't want to put the effort in. And now at 48 years old, it's time to get over it. If I want to change it, I've got to get over it. So I realized how not having fun plays out. I don't have more fun because I'm not willing to put forth the effort to do something different. I personally like the comfort of blankets and snuggling and passive entertainment, like watching a show. I think sitting on the couch is fun until it isn't. And then I need to get uncomfortable and put forth the effort to make shit happen. Now, my best friend, Leslie, she's one of these people. She's going a million miles an hour. She thinks that's super fun doing all of these adventures until it isn't. Then she needs to get uncomfortable and put forth the effort to sit still for a little while. If you're like Leslie, I bet your confusion isn't around, why don't I have more fun? Your confusion might be around, why am I always so exhausted? Why do we blow through our money? Where the hell does all our time go? Why can't I get this thing off the ground? Why can't I reach my goal? And so instead of getting pissed like I used to, try tuning in to see what's underneath it. I have a lot of clarity about what's going on with me not reaching my goal. And I'm not pissed and I'm not hurt and I'm not resentful about it. 
it's a good place to be because now I can just move forward without confusion. So how did I get into clarity and out of confusion? I'll take you through the steps I asked myself. Number one, what do I want? Number two, how do I think it will make me feel? Number three, what do I have to do to get it? And number four, am I willing to do that? Now, obviously, you'll have your answer if you take yourself through those questions. Some things, yeah, you're going to be willing to do. Other things, not so much. So I recently had a client who struggled with confusion around something much more serious than having fun. He was confused about uh, his next professional steps. He wants to move from industry to entrepreneurship. And basically, this is a terrifying leap from getting a paycheck to having to create a paycheck out of thin air. He's been confused about his purpose. He's confused about who he helps and whether he can really do it. He's been circling in his brain for more than a year, which is mentally defeating and it's been wearing him down. So it's like me with my stupid, how can I have more fun question? It seems like it shouldn't be such a hard thing to figure out, but it's easy to stay stuck and live in confusion that our brains like to create. So he did a deep dive with me. It's 90 minutes of where I take him through some deep questions, push him to get uncomfortable in a few places and go beyond the I don't knows that show up. Now, he didn't really want to spend money to figure this shit out. Who does? I mean, wouldn't it be so great if we could all just work through our own stuff in our brains without paying for clarity with somebody else's help? Of course it would. But life doesn't seem to work out that way. So I want to share with you he decided he was ready to get out of confusion and work with me. So let's go through those steps again, and you can maybe help yourself get out of confusion. Remember, step number one is, what do I want? Well, he wanted to figure this out once and for all so that he could clear out his head and take the next step. Question number two, how do I think it will make me feel? He felt it would give him some mental and emotional peace around what to do next. And who doesn't want some peace in their brains? Number three, what do I have to do to get it? Well, he sought out someone trusted to see what was going on. He hired me to dig around in there and get him unstuck, which was scary and uncomfortable. He had never done this work before. And then the last question is, am I willing to do that? He decided it was. He had been trying for more than a year and he hadn't gotten any clarity. So yeah, he was willing to try it. Like me, this client was tired of being pissed off about his patterns. He wanted clarity about his decisions rather than remaining pissed off at his circumstance. So he wanted control back in his life and he needed to get out of confusion. And whether we're talking about wanting to have more fun or taking a huge leap in your professional journey, we all need clarity. Confusion keeps us really stuck. And it makes us believe that where we are right now, the status quo is as good as it gets. And I want you to know that is complete bullshit. I'll argue that learning to have fun is as vital as learning what your next steps are professionally. It doesn't matter what the content or the topic of your confusion is. If you remain in confusion, you will be stuck. And I want you to know that when you're stuck, you're just, you're kind of junk for everyone else. You're just not as present. You're not as, you're not as you, and you deserve that. So what's your priority? Mine is breaking this pattern of sitting in comfort. And I really want 2019 to be different for me. So here's an example. Tonight, I want to go see The Sound of Music. It's playing at our local theater and nobody wants to go with me. I'm going to just go by myself. And I tell you that will be uncomfortable, but I will enjoy it. I will not die if I go sit in the theater by myself. And if the weather remains as warm today as it was that day that I wanted to go ice skating, I'm going to go do that too. The next time I really want to do something, I will have to note the effort it will take and decide if I'm ready ready and willing to put forth that effort. Or do I want to wake up tomorrow and feel like I let myself down? Choosing the easier path is not the way out of confusion, my friend. I want you to know that choosing the easier path can really keep you stuck. So when you're ready to get unstuck and you want support to get through it, contact me. 
I live for this stuff. I know that you can move forward toward your goal if you can just get out of the confusion you've been living in. Confusion about where your time goes, confusion about what your thoughts are, and confusion about how to get to those goals. You can have everything that you've been craving. I've got room for four private clients this winter. And if you are interested in chatting, then reach out. You can apply for a consultation call right at my webpage, jenliddy.com. And let's get you unstuck and out of confusion this winter. Thanks for listening. Please share this episode with a friend of yours who you think it could really help. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. Or tell that friend of yours who'd really love to bring her idea to life about it. If you'd be so kind to leave a review, then together we can help more women with the desire to create the life she wants find this podcast. Isn't it time we got our ideas out of our head and into the world? Remember, you can grab my free resource, Bring Your Idea to Life in Three Easy Steps, even if you don't have the time, by visiting me over at jenliddy.com forward slash time. I'll see you next time. And remember, all you need to do is take the very next step you know how to. Bye.